let's do like a, a role play situation. I am a first time founder. What advice would drinks. you get? Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. HR after dark. Here we go. Just kidding. I am kidding. Oh, God. People listening to this are going to be like, these two, what is, what is happening? Okay. Imagine you're advising a group of first time founders. It me, I'm the first time founder. What yes. advice would you give them about building their company with equity in mind right from the start? Um, Any key steps they should take? So let's say, yes. let's, let's give this fictional founder a company size. Let's say they have 50, 50 employees. Okay. Well, then I would start by saying, you already have a culture <laughs> um, at 50, <laughs> 50 employees. You already have one, right? Um, yeah. And so let's start by by um, measuring that. And so, um, again, you know, measuring, I think we're talking, you know, about data. It's really it's really popular or kind of commonplace um, to just like average things out or to say like, oh, yeah, we've got like 80 percent of folks feel good. Yeah. Um, you need to be looking for the places where folks are not feeling good. Folks are not doing well. Folks are not um thriving in your space like look for those seek those out in the same way that you would seek out issues with your tech you would seek out bugs with your you know processes you would seek out um you know negative feedback you do qbrs with customers especially in the early startup days you're looking for that bad stuff so you can improve it do the same thing with your culture look for it it's there i promise it's there um, and then, um, you know, work with all of your leaders, um, including your HR leader, including your operational leaders, um, but also including like your sales leaders and the folks who typically tend to be a little bit um, further away from these conversations to say, these are the things that we found. This is why this is important to me. As a founder, you are now the senior leader in the organization. That can be a weird spot to be in, but own it and say, this is why this is important to me and our business. This is the culture that we're striving for. Um, and this is, you know, kind of the the directive that our operation leader is going to be driving us towards. They have my full support. I'm going to be involved in X, Y, Z way. Let's do it. Let's get there. Um, and then be ready to, to, you know, support your operations leader in doing that work um, and be ready to fail like a few times between now and then it doesn't always feel good it doesn't always sound good the town halls aren't always shiny and fun. never <laughs> Super perfect. i do love that point that you just made though about the like 80 percent of people are happy what about the 20 percent yeah and so if you're listening to this and you are you're working with averages and you're saying like on average our employees feel this way if you're thinking about equity what about the other people that you that don't feel the same way. Yep. We yeah. do um we do a diversity and inclusion inclusion survey and a lot of our inclusion survey questions are all about figuring out if there's equity to like understand if the, our processes feel equitable. Um it's about 20 questions and it has been super helpful in us understanding um is this a place where employees feel like they can equally learn and grow that they're like given mm. the same opportunities as others. There's a lot to unpack there. There are a lot of questions you can ask but as much as I hate to say survey your employees, you should be yeah. asking your employees constantly yeah. about the processes they're experiencing, about the experience they're having, about how they feel, if they can, if they feel like your environment is fair. That's yeah. like a really good one. Like if they say, <laughs> no, they don't think things are fair, you're like, oh, well, equity problem. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, so I, mean, I think what the, Probably, you know, as a as a founder, it's like your company's your baby, right? And so then it's like, oh man, someone just said my baby's ugly. Um, like I'm ready to, <laughs> I'm ready to fight. Like <laughs> your baby's it, ugly. You can, I'm just saying. <laughs> you can take things very personally. Is yeah. what I am saying. Um, and you have to be committed to not to not taking things personally. You have to be committed to seeking out that feedback because it exists. There is like, there is somewhere in some corner of your organization someone who. Is struggling. There is someone who is wanting more than they are able to get, um, and you need to find them, and you need to um, determine what kind of company you want to be for that person. 
um, and not just for kind of, you know, the, the mass of smiling people who are adoring your baby and saying that it's cute. Your baby's not ugly. Your baby, okay, so you heard it here first, your baby's not cute. Just kidding.